Hello my beautiful geeks, how's everybody doing today? And welcome to the Geek Fortress. And yes, you saw that correctly. Today, we're going to be unboxing or re-unboxing if anything, because we originally unboxed this back in the day, the Game Boy Color. Now, this was, I mean, unless you count like the little Atari where I would play like Tetris and stuff like that, this was like my first big handheld um, device console Nintendo has always hold a special place in my heart and I think in all of our hearts they know how to make a console whether it's portable whether it's uh, not portable or whether it's half portable and have not portable or you can just take it with you if you want Nintendo knows how to do things and this guy right here was probably the beginning of many things to come technically the Game Boy was but Game Boy Color just took what the Game Boy did and just brought it up a whole new level which I think touched many of us back um, in our childhood hearts. So this is a beautiful piece of history right here. Just holding it in my hand and knowing that I'm going to take it out of the box. Um, it, it, it makes me excited. Now this is uh, a used copy, but it is still in the box with everything. So this is gonna be, be this is gonna be my first time taking it out and trying to play with it. Now uh, the person that I got it from, uh, she told me that you know it has been a little used you know but everything was kept the box was kept all the original papers and everything are supposed to be in there so I'm very excited about that and uh, yeah so if you want to follow her I'll put her stuff below she is a cosplayer her name is Lenny Cosplays and uh, sometimes she's in conventions and she sells stuff like this so make sure you catch her on Instagram so you know where she's gonna be next and you may be able to get one of these beauties right here so without any further ado guys let's get right into the unboxing of this bad boy here we go all right here it is guys the game boy collar and I also got some games in here that we're gonna try but we're gonna leave those for last as a nice little surprise so here we go let's let's take a moment to appreciate the box first real quick look how beautiful that was game boy collar game boy collar keep in mind that at this time color was the big seller for this Boom. Game Boy Color. Oh, look at this right here. We have Wario, we have Link, and one of the Legend of Zelda games. And I'm not sure where the first one is on the left. If you know what that is, let me know in the comment section below. Look at the back right there. Portable Color Fun. The Game Boy, the world's most popular portable video game system, offers endless entertainment for players of all skill levels. The new compact Game Boy Color system travels anywhere. Enjoy the library of over 450 original games in enhanced color or play new Game Boy Color games in brilliant color. Escape into a world of exciting color. So, still we didn't have a back lid uh, display or front lid, none of that, but it was color. So if you wanted to play this at night, you would have to get a little flashlight that would attach to it. This little guy right here and uh, that's how you would play under your blankets or just get a flashlight I, I never could really afford one of them uh, when I was a kid I really wanted one of these I lived in Ecuador at the time and my dad bought me this exact same model the Game Boy Color in atomic purple and he brought it for, uh, to me from here from the United States because I lived in Ecuador at the time and he had travel so this specific model holds uh, uh, a big place in my heart so let's look at this, <laughs> this stuff real quick uh, full color screen display only with new Game Boy Color games. Keep that in mind. Play over 450 games, action, adventure, puzzle, sports, role playing, and enhanced color. Convenient, compact size, built in infrared communication port, that was big, and two AA batteries included. All Game Boy Color games sold separately. Look at that. For questions regarding this bug, you have to call the hotline. The internet wasn't really uh, a big thing, but this official seal is your assurance that Nintendo has improved the quality of this product blah 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 okay so yeah you could play Game Boy Colors in it like this little guy right here and then they were showing in color or you could play Game Boy Colors like this little guy right here Tetris so this one would show up in the original way that it was supposed to but if you got a game like this one right here which is a little Nicky great game if you guys didn't play it based on the movie with Adam Sandler then you would get the full color that you want and of course it was an HD kits but it was fun and that's all that matters all right so let's actually get into it and open it up right here Ooh. 
Oh, there we go. Now, before we get into the main event, let's let's look at some paperwork here. You guys ready? Shazam! Ooh, I feel the old in these. Look at this. Let's check it out. All right, so I think this. Oh, this is your Game Boy registration card. Look at this. So help us learn more about our players. Game Boy Color registration card. So you would fill this up and send it to Nintendo so they would have your information just sort of as a um, survey type, type of thing, I guess. And that's what this was. Look, this has been through some stuff. But you would send it to a Nintendo of America Inc. P.O. Box 97037. I don't even think that's their address anymore. But look, you would fill that up. You would put your serial number right there. And this also register you for warranty, I'm guessing. So yeah, that's your warranty and info card that you would give with it. So that's pretty cool. The other paper that we have right here is this little thing right here that says, Hungry? Great gaming information doesn't come in a can. A subscription to Nintendo Power is all you need. So you would have to send this so you could sign up to Nintendo Power. Nutritional facts. Oh, what's really Nintendo Powers? There's no secret recipe that you have to memorize the facts are plain and simple. Nintendo Power Magazine features the absolute best gaming information of the planet for Nintendo games, period. It's inconceivable to think that you wouldn't become a better game player when you gather up the juicy insider information every month in Nintendo Power. The question is, do you want to be a better game player? <laughs> I love the marketing for this. We're betting that you do, and we're gonna make it easy for you to obtain that crucial gaming knowledge for the Paltry Summon 1995. We'll deliver one Nintendo Power magazine to your mailbox each month for 12 months in a row. Just think every month page after page, nothing but great gaming info. Looking out playing, blah, 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 comprehensive reviews, blah, 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 tips and tricks. So this was, again, this was before the internet was a big thing. So you would have to subscribe to magazines in order to check out um, reviews and tips and tricks. Like you would need guides and stuff like that. So that's what this little guy was. You would choose how many issues you would want for how long. There's a number, you would send that in. Subscribe instantly call that number. And that's it right there. So this came in there. Uh, you didn't really get a can, but you would get the magazine, so yeah. Then right up next, we have the Game Boy manual. So you would get both the Game Boy and the Game Boy Color manual in here. So look how this manual was. Oops. Oh man, this is like a piece of history right here. Check that out. So it would just give you some warnings. In the front, it give you some warranty info. Not really the main event of this unboxing, you know? But just know that it came with this. And then you got the Game Boy Color instruction booklet. So this was the actual one for the device. It would show you how to link. It would show you how to get other things done. And believe it or not, this system had like a printer type situation where you could connect stuff and print pictures. It was cool. So this is how you would connect with the infrared. This is the front right here where it gives you the part of it. List of components. And I know you guys are itching for me to get to the main event. Just hang with me there. Tells you how to take the cartridges out, how to put them in. Changing the screen color on original Game Boy packs. Whoops. Oh, so that's how it upscaled it. Wait, wait, what? Change color? I did not know you could do this. I just learned something new. Look at that. How to put the batteries in and all that fun stuff. And do not use a Nintendo Game Boy rechargeable battery pack. It made sure to tell you that. So this is how you would trade Pokemon, by the way. All right, on to the main event. Duke. Here she is, guys, in all her glory. Look at that. Oh, this is a lot smaller than I remember it, to be honest with you guys. Alright, let's get this out of here. Excuse me. And. Oh, yeah. Look how tiny this is. Oh my gosh. Again, like I said, this is not a brand new console. I bought it, it had been used, and I was aware that there was gonna be scratches and so, but it still looks great. Look at that. 
Well, moment of truth. Let's put some batteries in and see what we're working with. All right. Let's put in some batteries and make things happen. Batteries are in. Let's go ahead and cover it. And for the moment of truth. Oh, yeah. So look how tiny this thing is in comparison to like my hands. I, I don't remember this being so tiny. Granted, the last time I used it, I was a little boy ish. But look at that. That's the side right there. That is the infrared sensor. That's where the cartridge would go. That is the other side. This is your volume adjustment. Again, no black lit screen or anything like that. So if it was dark, you couldn't play. So you had to make sure you had light like that light right there. Sorry if I blinded you in order to play it. So let's test out now a uh, Game Boy Color. Game Boy game, sorry. And the winner is Tetris. So this is the original Tetris for the, uh, almost said for the PS1, it's not for the PS1, it's for the Game Boy, but it did play in the Game Boy Color, so here we go, moment of truth. Oh yeah. So one thing to know is that if when you put in the disc, the Nintendo logo at the bottom when it first turned on was like distorted, you had to put the cartridge in again. That happened a lot. So that's, that's... That's max volume, by the way. This was the speaker right here. This is all you got for a speaker. Did this thing even have headphones? It did have a headphone jack. Look at that. But that's it. That's all you got. Oh, the buttons work perfectly. One player, I'm guessing start. Oh yeah. Uh, a type, I guess. Level zero. And there you go. Oh man. This brings me back. <laughs> this is so awesome, man. It's like I'm a kid again playing under my, um, I almost said under my bed, not under my bed, under my sheets at night. Oh, looks like all the buttons work perfectly. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Also, the only way you would know is if your battery was dying is uh, that, that light right there would start dimming and dimming and dimming and dimming and then you would have to go take the, uh, the batteries from your mom's TV remote and she wouldn't like that shout out to my mom love you mom thanks for putting up with me right up next we have little Nikki so this was actually a game boy color uh, game so let's see you would put it in look at them graphics look at them graphics Look at them graphics. Look at that. So you would put a password where you could play. Uh, I think it would give you access to different levels and stuff like that. But otherwise, you would just start the game. No cutscenes, none of that. Look, that's it. That's me playing. And look, look at the resolution. That's the resolution that you would get. Pretty much pixels. And then that was your sound right there. Nintendo. All right, now onto the main event. And what you're about to see right here, guys, it's probably the game that I spent the most hours as a kid playing in the Game Boy Color. My file actually corrupted and I cried for two days straight. And it is Pokemon Gold version. That's right. Now, um, this game right here, this was like my creed. I had so many Pokemon, you could clone Pokemon. It was really, really cool. And that's the technique right there. Boom. Oh, gorgeous. And... Oh yeah, we got it the first try. You guys ready? 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 Make sure you guys get this. <laughs> get ready for that intro. Carbs, Lapras, and wait for it. Wait for it. Jigglypuff, Pikachu. <laughs> That's right. So in this one, 
the starters. I always go fire, by the way. Let me know in the comment section what you guys do. So Cyndaquil was my starter. Pokemon Gold version. 2000, guys. 2000. I was 10 years old. How old were you? So this is right before you leave. Look at this. So you would leave, you would talk to your mom, and then you would leave, and then you would talk to Professor, and then he would give you a Pokemon, and oh my god, I love this so much. I love this. I love this. But yes, look at that. That's beauty right there. This is a piece of history right here, guys. It's, I love it. I just love it. And it's uh, short of some scratches on the screen, which you can replace eventually. I think they can still do replacement for this. This beauty right here is what my life was all about. I would bring this to school, getting trouble for it. My mom never knew about it. Sorry, mom. And uh, yeah, and then my friends would teach me how to clone Pokemon and how to trade Pokemon and stuff like that. And it was just a great time in my life, which I love. And uh, it's gr I'm so glad that this was part of my childhood. But what about you guys? Did you guys have one of these? Uh, let me know in the comments section below. But this right here is what life was about. Oh, right in the childhood, right in the childhood. That was so amazing. But what do you guys think about the Game Boy Color? Which one was your first handheld console? Let me know in the comments section below. If you guys wanna know what my favorite handheld consoles are, what the best ones I think are, make sure you check this card right above where you can check my list of where I rank my, in my opinion, the best handheld devices ever. I hope everybody's having a safe day, a safe weekend, a safe afternoon, whatever time it is. It is if it is your lunch, enjoy your lunch. If it is a break or bathroom break, make sure you wash your hands afterwards. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. As per usual, you guys have been awesome. Do me a favor, guys. Stay awesome and keep going. Until the next time. Bye-bye.